here it is, my new addition to the channel. Yamaha XJR 1300 SP. Welcome to Mid Bike Crisis. Welcome to Mid Bike Crisis. How are you all doing, guys? Welcome to the channel. I'm going today to pick up a classic bike that I sold actually. Not the same bike, but a bike that I sold last year. I really regret selling it, but it's a 2002 Yamaha XJR 1300 in grey black engine block it's the sp version really excited about this one we're having a drive to derby so about two hours drive and then we're going to be riding back well i'm going to be riding back the bike uh let's go see what it's all about right we're on the way we're um At the where are we going emma derby 38 west going to derby derby so we're going to derby or near Derby anyway, it makes a change, but they're always a million miles away, these, uh, any bike that I find, they're always, aren't they? They're always like yeah. Edinburgh, Aberdeen, miles away, so this is two hours, it's not so bad, so we'll be there in about an hour, so we'll uh, give you a shout when we get there, not too long hopefully an hour, unless me and Emma have killed each other by then. Continue straight you ever driven in a car with your wife? When she's driving, that's horrendous. Isn't it, love? She's looking at me like thunder. McDonald's tea. So yeah, we're off to pick up this XJR 1300. I sold mine last last year. I don't know why I sold it. Because you daft. Yeah, probably. I sold it to fund another bike. I think I made about 800 quid. And then after I sold it, I was absolutely gutted. So I've been looking for a, a pretty tidy original one. I've uh, been looking for about six months. So I found one I found one last night on eBay, sent them a message and then I woke up and it's sold. So you've got to be quick. If you see these bikes, these old classics, you've got to be quick and snap them up, have the cash waiting and um, go drive and pick them up like what we're doing this morning. So I found another one on eBay. Probably not the colour that I would have gone for, it's grey with a black engine block but um, I think it's still quite a nice classic looking colour preferably would have gone for yellow but no yellow available at the moment as we speak so a nice grey XJR 1300 and it's the SP version so it's got the Olin's shocks so we'll be on it soon we'll have a bit of a bit of a review ride back home for two hours oh. So about the time I just drove two hours um, to a town near Birmingham in the UK just to be a little bit disappointed with the, the bike that I went to look at. Picture them and the video looked, it looked pretty good but um, yeah there was a few little bits on the bike that I, that I wasn't happy with so I'm a little bit gutted really. Emma's absolutely kicking off because uh, she's just wasted a day. Well, she's, Coming back from Morrison's now, she's not happy. Um, so we just wasted our Sunday. The guy was sound to be fair, he was really good. He said, I'll give you half your petrol. I said, no, don't worry about it. Um, so here's Emma, she's really not happy. <laughs> she loves driving for two hours on a Sunday, don't you love? Yeah, all of us gonna be happy. So well, we've got a nice chicken dinner that we're well, gonna be cooking. I couldn't get any broccoli, so let's get frozen. She couldn't get broccoli. So the hunt continues for uh, XJR 1300. I'm going to up my budget a little bit. It's not me being a tight ass. Um, it was just a good price, but yeah, I, there was just a few little bits on it that I wouldn't have been happy about. And uh, if you know me, it would just be a bit of a pain for me to uh, rectify. I'd want it perfect. <clears throat> so the hunt continues for uh, yeah, Yamaha XJR 1300. And uh, now we're uh, we're gonna have a nice journey home, aren't we? Two hours, can't wait. Going to Wakefield now, hopefully, by a yellow Kenny Roberts colour 2002 Yamaha XJR 1300. So let's try again, round two. So, right, we found one a nice, tidy XJR 1300. Got Dave in the background, he didn't want to be on camera. So we're driving back back to uh, home now and uh, 
it's just started raining so we'll better get a crack on but yeah it's a nice and tidy bike that so just what i've been looking for <laughs> hammered it down it's always the same every time I find a bike they're either a miles away or B it's peeing it down when I'm traveling back unfortunately I didn't get a video of the ride back yesterday because I like a wally forgot my GoPro mod so I couldn't plug in the mic into the helmet but not a bad thing because it was absolutely chucking it down we actually had hailstone this is September here in the UK and we had hailstone, so I was not really that well prepared. But what an amazing machine. Here it is, my new addition to the channel, Yamaha XJR 1300 SP. And I know you'll be looking thinking, that ain't no SP. This is the SP. Previous owner replaced the Olin's shocks with these Hagen's. So apparently these are meant to be extremely good. If you've got Hagen shocks, let me know in the comments below. Personally, I think the Olin's look better. They might not perform better, I'm not sure. But I will source some original OEM Olin shocks. Barring mirrors, they're coming off. I did get the originals off the owner. Unfortunately, I didn't get the original exhaust. But to be fair, it sounds it sounds pretty sweet to be honest it does sound good just taking off the yellow trim around uh, around the wheels not a big fan of that personally the yellow brake lines they're going to get replaced with standard black potentially might get braided not sure yet but generally it is a nice clean bike it's a 2002 probably one of the better years of this bike it's got Oxford heated grips they come in really handy I'm not a big fan of heated grips to be honest but although I do have them on my GS and I rode that the other day and they're amazing heat grips were on yesterday on the way back back to the garage but in overall condition I'd say this is probably quite a tidy machine I did go look at one in Birmingham uh, we took a sort of four or five hour round trip to go buy a silver bike really nice guy but the bike just was not for me it just needed a little bit bit of wear to get it to probably a standard where i was looking for personally this bike i think it's a better bike to bought it it's got your usual uh wear and tear marks but you've got to remember these are 21 years old so I, I've, well I've yet to see a, an XJR with engine casing that's perfect this is pretty good to be fair but I will take some time over the winter the paint is immaculate on the tank seat's just been recovered with the XJR logo again not a massive fan of that but that, that will grow but the seat covers lovely super comfortable I did have one of these before, I had a 2006 in blue, but the yellow, to be honest, Kenny Roberts colours, you can't knock it, That's the. it's got to be the best colour, I challenge anybody, tell me a better colour on an XJR, red possibly, I think the yellow looks brilliant, so I'm looking for a, you know what it's like, I need a new jacket with a flash of yellow and a new helmet with a flash of yellow, if you know me, I know Phil will be watching this laughing because he knows what I'm like. I've got pretty much helmet for all bikes. I had an old RI for my Africa Twin and then when I bought me GS, I had to go with the GS colours. So I've got the new um, Hornet by Showy. Brilliant helmet by the way. This is a really, really, really good helmet. Really like that. That was my old RI. I think I'm going to sell this. Tour X4, it's only a year old, not really had much use. But that is an XL. Did a quick video on this before. All of my helmets that I've bought previously, I've bought Arai XL that fit brilliantly from the start. This one especially has gone quite baggy. I had a professional fit 
at five words in Hull when I bought my Suzuki GSX and it transpires in my large, not an XL. So I'd recommend, that's my Suzuki, not my Suzuki, my uh, Shoei GTR 2 with the built-in comms. Brilliant bit of kit, really like that. But yeah, if you think you know your head size, I'd recommend you go and get a professional fit wherever you're based because um, I can guarantee you've probably got the wrong size helmet on. I always thought I was an XL and I'm not, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a large. Don't get me wrong, when I first put that Shelby GTR on, I was like, this. It was pretty uncomfortable. I was biting the insides of my lips and uh, Harley, the guy who fit me out for that, assured me that it was the right fit. So I went with his judgment and I'm being brutally honest, it's probably the most comfortable helmet I've ever had now. It won when I first got it, but after a few hours of riding, it's, it's, it fits like a glove, it's perfect. But anyway, back to the bike. XJR 1300, it's absolutely chucking it down today. I wanted to go out and do a bit of a review ride on the bike, but uh, unfortunately that's not gonna happen. So for now, here's a new addition to Mid Bike Crisis. Collection's slowly growing. Uh, I do plan to get my CBR 954 Fireblade back on the road. It's in bits at the moment. New gearbox job. Uh, that'll be probably not back on the road this summer. I shall uh, take my time over the winter, but this is road ready. It's beautiful. It will, t it will uh, take a bit of my time in the winter months. I'm just going to clean up some of the engine compartment, probably give this a machine polish and a ceramic coat get the original mirrors back on, which I did get from the owner. These are good, but I want to try and keep the bike as original as possible. I think these look better. So they'll be going back on later on today. But yeah, that's it. My 2002 Yamaha XJR 1300 in Kenny Roberts racing colors in the yellow, black, beautiful, beautiful machine. So we'll have a review ride vid very soon, but due to the weather here in the UK, no ride with for now. So, thanks for watching and just admire the beauty of this amazing muscle bike. I challenge you to tell you better muscle bike this era. Yamaha XJR.